Okay, so today we're looking at similar triangles. So when we're um, when we know they're similar, we can find out things like unknown sides and stuff. But first, you sometimes need to prove or know that the triangles are a similar shape. And the way you can determine whether triangles are similar is that they're one way is their corresponding sides are in the same ratio. So what does that mean? If I had a triangle like this, I say one, two, and three, and then I had this um, triangle, I had two, four, six, that they have all the sides have gone up by the same ratio, haven't they? It's all been times by two. So these two triangles, I could say they're similar because every side is being enlarged by the same amount, yeah? So that's one way to know that they're similar. The second way, another way to know that they're similar is that two corresponding sides are the same ratio. So you can see two sides have gone up and an included angle. So for example, you could have like this. So we've got a right angle triangle and I might have um, like that. So I can see the two sides have gone up, the same ratio, and we both have a 90 degree angle. So I could say that they're similar, okay? So let's have a look down here. When we know they're similar, then we can do the solve like what we did before with similar objects. So we've got, explain why triangle ABC is similar to XYZ. Now you could see what has eight been times by three and three. So we could say because two sides have gone um, up by the same ratio, which was three over one, and we both an a similar angle. Okay, so you know that these ones were similar because they have a similar angle. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look and see we're going to determine x because we can tell that these triangles are similar. So if you look, I'm going to highlight this triangle like that. And then we have another triangle here. Okay, so if I draw these triangles out just so they look in the same way. So here's my right angle, here's 2x and this is 36. And then I've got this one, I'm going to flip this around so it's in the same way so I can see that they're similar and you can see I've got 18 and I've got 1.2 x okay so you could solve for x because we know we can see that they're similar triangles because um, or we're just gonna you'll probably be told that these are similar triangles and if it says solve for x So if this was what we had to do, what you're going to do is, if they're similar, it means their sides were um, in like or decreased by the same ratio. So what you can do is like what we did before, where we go 2x over um, 18 because they're this, we should give the same ratio as 36 over 1.2x. So remember what I said that you make sure that across this way, has come from the same shape. So can you see how it both came from the blue triangle? Yeah? yeah? Yeah. And so across the bottom has also come from the green triangle. And then you make sure that when you're uh, going down this way, that these are the same sides, same corresponding, oh, I should write corresponding, same corresponding side. So you can see I've got these ones are both the hypotenuse, aren't they? Yeah? Yeah. So once you've got that, so that's what you need to set up. But obviously when we're solving, we just need to solve it in our calculator and we just need to write out that equation because that's an equation there. And because 
there's only one thing you don't know, the x, it can solve it for you. So you go comma x and you should be able to find out what x is. So I get 16.43 and that's correct. All right. So with this, um, find the value of the side AB. So you can see here this side of this triangle in triangle ABC. So what we're going to show you is you can have similar triangles. If all the angles inside the triangle are the same, um, you also have similar triangles. So, so what I mean by that, if you have like a tiny triangle, say that's 20, 80, um, and say 80 up there, it, you can also have a big triangle, the same sort of shape, which is still 20, 80, and 80. So if the angles are the same, those triangles are similar. Okay, so what we have to see, we have to remember back to when we have um, parallel lines. So see these arrows like that? That means that there's parallel lines, yeah? So when you have parallel lines and then you have a line that is cutting through parallel lines. So see how I've really got two lines like that and I'm cutting through. What it means is when you do that, this angle, oh sorry, I gotta change the pen. This angle here is the same as that angle. That's what when you have parallel lines. And so if I have a parallel lines, I've also got say an angle cutting through a line cutting through there. So that also means this angle is the same. And actually now the down here they both share, the little triangle share this point. So what I'll do is I'll rub this out, sorry, and now I'll show you. So we said that this, sorry, this angle is the same as that one and we saw this angle was the same. So if I, I'm going to break out this triangle here and draw it down here. So I've got this triangle here and I'm saying that it's got a red, a green and I'm just going to say it's down there, that star. Now if I do the larger triangle like that and redraw it, if you have a look it's got a red, it's got the green and it's got the star. So are all the angles the same size? Yeah. yeah. So all angles are the same. So I can say they are similar triangles. So similar. So if they're similar triangles, that means I can do the sides ratios and say that they equal each other. So this one's side is three. And what's this one side would be three and 2.5, which would be 5.5. This one is X and this one is x plus 6. Okay, so now I'm going to set up. So remember we said um, we put the side so I can say x over x plus 6. So remember the corresponding sides and then across across this way we're going to do the same shape. So I'll have um, 3 over 5.5 and once you've got that set up over here they've shown you how to manually do it. We don't need to do that. We now have graphics calculator. We can go solve comma x. So let's go see if you get x to be 18 on 2.5 or an act, we'll just get the actual decimal number. We'll say to two decimal places. So you guys do it on your calc. So I get 7.2 because I said um, two decimal places, I'm gonna put a zero and it was centimeters. Okay. So here's another example of similar figures and it's a, a thing that comes up often. So they'll say the person and the person casts this shadow down along here. So what actually happens is when, because the sun is shining down at on the same ang, ang, angle, sorry, on the tree and the person, these angles are all the same again. And same, and because they're both on the ground, that angle is the same. And then once again, they're both sharing this one down here. So the two triangles I'm talking about, my first one is this one. So if I draw that one out with the person, 
Um, and my second triangle is going to be the overall, this big green one, using everything. So here'll be my second one like that. So they wanted to, sorry, in this question, they want to find the height of the tree. Yeah, so we're going to call the X. And we have to be careful though, because we can only compare if everything is in the same units. So this is 14 meters. And because we're finding out the length of the tree or the height of the tree, I should say, it's probably best we keep in meters. You're never gonna say the height of a tree in centimeters, probably, it's better to do meters. So we'll just use meters. And so I can see that they said the shadow was 140 centimeters. So that's actually 1.4 meters. And they said the girl was 168 centimeters. So she's 1.68 meters. So if I go to find um, solve for the tree, so remember, I'm gonna say the side. So I'm gonna say 1.68 this side over the corresponding side, which would be X should equal the same number as if you got 1.4 and divided it by 14. And then once you get that, you can pop in solve and comma X. So they do a ratio. This way is much easier, I think, because it works every time. We'll just do it like this. They find out what the scale factor is and times it. We're just gonna do it all in one go. So X equals, let's work. Okay, so we get 16.8 meters. So just write the tree equals 16.8 metres. Just in case that, that's what they ask, we'll just pop a statement there. Okay. A torch which is held horizontal, horizontally is shone onto the wall a distance of 1.2 metres as shown with a radius of 8 centimetres. The torch is now moved back 2 metres from the wall. So what happens when you shine a torch on the wall and you get that circle? What happens when you walk back? Does anyone know? It gets bigger too. So they've gone back this way. So we say, sorry, we've gone back this way two meters, and now we're going to have this bigger, bigger circle, aren't we? Yeah. So what I'm going to tell you is these are similar triangles again, sort of like the sun shining at the same angle. You have this this big triangle here, like that, and then you have this similar one but it's the original scenario okay so if i draw out my two triangles so my original scenario was this is eight centimeters yeah and this is 1.2 meters and my big triangle i'll draw this out now they moved back two meters so what would this be It'd be 1.2 plus the two which equals 3.2 meters. So along here, it's 3.2. They want to know the radius of this one. Okay, now you can change that eight centimeters to meters if you like, but if you're if you want to know what this is in centimeters, as long as the same sides are in the same unit, you can do it. Okay, so what I could say is here that I'm gonna say eight over X will equal 1.2 over 3.2. So just to recap what you've got to check, check that um, these have come from the same shape, from same triangle, is that true? Yeah. Yeah, and remember going down that way is the corresponding sides. Is that, have I done that correct then? Yeah. yeah, so if you've done that, you've set it up right, and you can pop in solve, comma, X, and it's gonna tell you in centimeters what the new radius was, and what was it? Okay, new radius, that.